wash is made in a big factory like this. Here, they can make 10,000 bottles of hand wash every single day. That's going to keep a lot of hands clean. All of the ingredients are kept in different size containers. And the first thing to do is mix them all together. These two huge machines are the hand wash mixers. And this is where all of the ingredients go. Wow! Can you see those curved metal blades? Well, those are going to spin round and round to mix all of the ingredients together. There's already some water inside. And the first thing we're going to add is some salt. Whoosh! Can you see the blades mixing the salt with the water? The next ingredient to get added to the mixer is a chemical with a really long name, sodium laureth sulfate. And it's what makes the soap bubbles when we use it. But there's so much of it, it has to get pumped into the mixer through a big tube. Now Ian is measuring out the next ingredient, called glycerin. Can you see how shiny and gloopy it is? This is what makes the hand wash slippery. The glycerin is poured into the mixture too. Now, most hand washes have a nice smell, so that when we use them, our hands smell nice. And this smell comes from this ingredient. It's a type of perfume, just like the perfume you might have smelt someone wearing. But shall we see what this one smells like? Okay. Wow. It smells like flowers. It's sweet and very, very strong. So, in goes the perfume. The mix is nearly ready. There's just one more extra special ingredient to add, and it comes from a plant. It's called an aloe plant. Now, you mustn't do this at home, but would you like to see inside the leaf? Here we go. Can you see that sticky material? It's called aloe vera, and that's what helps to soothe our skin. The aloe vera is measured and poured into the mixture. Hand wash comes in lots of different colours, and to do this, a colouring is added. It's a bit like adding colour to icing on a cake. At the moment, it looks really dark, so it's hard to see what colour it is. But what colour do you think it's going to be? Let's find out. I've got my special camera with me so we can see what's happening inside the mixer. First, Stephen's going to turn it on. We're ready. Here it goes. Can you see what colour it is? That's right. It's blue. Whoa, look at that. Some of the mixture is sucked out of the bottom and pumped back in the top through this tube. And that helps to give it an extra good mix. Can you see all of the bubbles? That's the sodium laureth sulfate working. Now we have to leave it for five minutes. It's a bit like cooking porridge in a big pot. The hand wash is mixed until all the ingredients are blended together. Now the hand wash is being tested. Shall we see what it feels like? It wobbles like jelly. And the glycerin and the sodium laureth sulfate make it all slippy. And it smells lovely and fresh too. And that's because of the perfume that was added. Oh. But how does all the hand wash end up in these tiny bottles? Well, first, the mixture is pumped from this blue drum into this little tank called a header tank. The header tank feeds the machine that fills the empty bottles with hand wash. It's really big and it can fill up to eight bottles at a time. And those empty bottles get lined up and go into the machine just here. It's about to start. The machine knows just the right amount of hand wash to squirt into each bottle. Did you hear that sound? And then the bottle started to fill with hand wash. That was so quick, I nearly missed it. Let's count to see how long it takes. Ready? One, two, three. 
Three seconds and the bottles are full. The filled bottles are almost ready to be sent to the shop, but there is something missing. Can you guess what it is? That's right, there's no bottle top yet. The full bottles travel down the conveyor belt to the topping station, where the technicians put the bottle tops on by hand. Last thing to do is run the bottles through the labelling machine to stick a label on them so we know what's inside. And here we have a bottle of hand wash ready to use. <laughs>